Morning America! Actually about midday America. <laughs> uh, midday Idaho. We're in Idaho today. Uh, where at? Uh, right over there a little ways is uh, Mountain Home and uh, we're going down Interstate uh, 84. And I've driven by here many, many times in the semi, just like that truck right there is doing. Going down the highway, just like this truck right here is doing, this white uh, Peterbilt. And right about here, you get over this bridge, and I've seen this canyon before. You're driving along and said, whoa, look at that canyon, and then it's gone, because it's just that long. You see it, and it's gone. And I, I've I always wanted to pull in here, but from the interstate, you look over here where the car parking is, it's just not big enough for a semi. Uh, the road's coming in here just, you know, I could probably bobtail in, but no way you can bring a trailer in here. So, um, I'm driving along today, I'm thinking, I ain't in a semi. So I thought I'd pull down in here and check it out. And it's a state park, it's called Malad, Malad uh, River Gorge, and, uh, or Malad Gorge, and this is the Snake River down here. And uh, this flows all the way through. And you remember back in the 70s, Evil Knievel, remember he did the Snake River jump? Eh, it wasn't here, but it was somewhere along this river. And it was a canyon very similar to this. And he sat up over here and shot over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Evil Knievel, he was uh, a master of uh, self-promotion. So <laughs> I wish I was that good. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I was driving along here, I decided I'd pull in and check the place out since I have the chance. Um, it's pretty neat. Uh, it's a state park, so when I pull down, there's a guard shack. Well, you can see it, right? Uh, I can't see it in the sun and the glasses and everything. But right over here, there's a guard shack. It's five bucks to get in here. You park, you walk over that bridge, come over and look at this viewpoint, this straight down cliff here. There's another waterfall over there, and I think you can drive around. Actually, you can see a camper driving way over there. So um, you can drive over and check these other waterfalls out and things. There's more to it than just this bridge. All right. <clears throat> I got the thing, and this would be a great place to fly a drone down through. Just take a drone and fly it down through there and come up and, you know, get some real neat shots. <laughs> you saw in the last video, I made a boo-boo. Uh, drones and trees don't work too well together. <laughs> So um, the uh, drone is uh, out, of or out of action right now. Uh, Saznak 1 is down. <laughs> so um, I, it's a DJI uh, Mavic Pro. And uh, I got on their website last night and got to looking around. And there's a repair facility in LA and a couple other places, one in Florida, I think, and in Denver. Now, Kind of hoping they'd have one in Colorado, in Dallas, but they don't have one in Dallas. But they have one in Denver. I wasn't really planning on going through Denver, but I guess I am now. <laughs> and I'll be over there uh, tomorrow or the next day, something like that. And uh, I'll see if they'll fix it while I wait. Um, it didn't get tore up too bad. I didn't think it was broke at all. I, uh, I was flying along, hit a tree, uh, uh, shooting the uh, the uh, the kayakers in the water. Uh, water rafts, you know, the, the white water rafting people, uh, they were getting out of the water uh, on that beach. And I come flying by and as I'm driving, as I'm flying along, you imagine this, and I'm going down, let's say this gorge right here. I'm going down this gorge and if I'm going straight, I can see where I'm going. But if I turn the drone sideways and see what's on the shore, I don't really know where I'm going. And I drifted off to the right and hit a tree on the far side of the river. I'm like, how am I going to get my drone back? <laughs> I'm like, oh, it hit a tree and probably fell in the water and it's lost forever. It's being swept down river. Oh, just sinking feeling, you know? So um, I went down there where the, the loading uh, parking lot was for the loading and everything. And I walked down where I thought it would be. And there were some guys over there actually picking it up. They heard it crash. And they heard it hit the tree anyway, and they looked over and there it was falling through the branches down to the ground. So they went over and were picking it up. As I walked down there, they were picking it up, looking it over. I said, is it broke? And they said, no, it looks pretty good. It was yours? I'm like, yeah. I said, we thought it had been in a tree for a while and it had fallen and, you know, we just didn't know. I said, yeah, it's, it's mine. So they brought it back and we looked it over and I thought it was in good shape. It didn't look tore up or broke or anything. Anyway, I got back to the truck and looked it over a little bit closer and, and one of the motors is seized up and the, it's the right rear motor is seized up and apparently when it hit the tree and as it fell, maybe that motor hit a rock or something, I don't know, but it just, it, it won't turn very smoothly. 
So when you turn the drone on, it 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 uh, box and you know, and then it says motor over torqued. So hope I can get her fixed. So um, and if I can't get her fixed, uh, they just came out with a Mavic Pro 2. So <laughs> maybe I'll do that way. I don't know. A lot of money to be putting out on drones just for a few shots and then they crash. So. Oh, well, I was getting a little too cocky with it, too. You know, I was, I was flying a little bit more reckless than I should have. So it's, it's all my fault. It's all my fault. So anyway, we're going to walk back around here, get in the van and go see the, some of the other stuff, the uh, the other waterfalls and whatnot. And uh, I'm going to be heading across, uh, probably just going straight across Wyoming on 80. And uh, we've seen that before. I think I'm just going to make good time across there and get over to Denver and get the drone fixed. Once I get that done, I'll decide what to do from there. Just boogie on home or to uh, go up into the mountains and spend a couple more days in the woods. So <sighs> let's go see some far water falling. Okay, we went and watched the uh, waterfalls, and as we come back out of here, um, roads kind of split and do these little diversions and stuff. Well, the main road comes over through here, and this little diversion comes around, and you can see the interstate right through there going back. Well, there's no trucks. <laughs> when you need a truck, where are they at? But uh, right over there is the interstate. Here's a truck coming way over there. But anyway, we're just on the uh, south side of the gorge now, and uh, went and saw the two waterfalls, and uh, um this is a little park that they have and beautiful you know beautiful little park got all kinds of little barbecue grills and everything they got a toilet and uh swing sets and stuff over there for the kids and picnic tables really good place to have a little picnic on your travels and everything so um i got to doing a little bit more research on this place i don't know how you pronounce it malad 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 i'm not sure uh it was named by uh some uh fur trappers uh, fur trappers were up here and they were they were uh, uh, trapping uh, probably beaver or something like that and they ate one of the beavers and got real sick and they got to thinking uh, it was something that the beaver the beaver had been eating poisonous plants not to them but to us it make, makes them poisonous anyway there was some reason whatever so they were uh, th I believe they were French uh, at least the words look French to me and uh, um, um, it's Riviere uh, de Malade, Malade, or something like that. I don't know French, so it, but it's, it looked like French words to me. And uh, the translation for that is Sickly River. <laughs> so uh, Malade, Malade River and uh, Malade Canyon or Malade uh, Gorge is uh, the Sickly Gorge. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought that was kind of chuckly. But uh, it's not the uh, Snake River. I thought this was a Snake River Canyon. After, after I got down there, I realized this is the Malad River. And it, about a mile, mile and a half downstream, it flows into the much bigger Snake River. So I had to put that little correction out there for that. But uh, anyway, it's real pretty. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to make some good time going across the interstates and everything. Um, heading back toward Colorado. Uh, so I don't, I think I'm just going to shut the video off here and I don't think there's going to be driving or anything than this one. It'll, this will just be it. Just me yapping today. So, um, I guess I'm going to get on the road and, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow, I guess. See if I can get that drone fixed. <laughs>